<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hey, you know, our next guest is a friend of the show. He surely is. And he's the CEO of MASC. It's a wonderful group, and he's founder of the Bronx Night Market and Brooklyn Night Market and Uptown Night Market. And he just keeps going on and on and on until the break of dawn. He just keeps opening them up. And he's going to sit down with us to promote his next market event. So please welcome to the show, Marco Shalma. Marco, welcome. Hey, man, how you doing? Thanks for having me again. I appreciate you guys. I see you didn't have that chain when you first came on the show. I had that chain, but I keep hiding it. You know, I wore it down. <laughs> hey, tell us, you, this is very, very successful. You know, um, I have a friend of mine that you're working with uptown in Harlem, another friend in Brooklyn. They're opening up all over the place. This is a successful thing that you're doing here. Uh, tell us what the, what the plans are. I know you got the, the final ones coming up for the season, and then we're going to open up again for probably spring, right? Yeah. So, you know, from humble, humble beginnings in the Bronx, we started five years ago in the Bronx. You know, we did something that really resonated with people and the people really like. It's a, a you know, a, a large scale food festival that has a lot of the cultural aspect to it. And we took that model that we perfected in the Bronx and took it out to Harlem and then took it to Brooklyn. And, you know, like you said, uh, this is a big this is a big couple of weeks for us. This is the season finale for the Uptown Night Market and then the Bronx Night Market. And, you know, we're going to go all out, you know, pull all the stops and really, really want to make sure that the community, you know, have a little taste getting ready for next year. You know, so it's important for us to do something real big, real fun uh, to finish the year. I like that. And all kinds of food from different cultures. And that's important. And, it, you know, it's a wonderful opportunity for people to get together, bring the whole family down and experience what's going on there at the night market taste the different types of foods from different cultures and, and so on and so forth. You already know, man, this is like we are the largest, you know, largest culinary combination in New York City. We bring more cultures together under under the roof of the night market yeah. than any other business in the city. And it is important to us to kind of express that, you know, because, you know, the rule is like this. You can't hate on people after you eat their food. And, and I've always <laughs> many cultures possible and yeah. contribute our part to that, you know? So we, we, we're feeling humble and blessed to be able to continue to do that and continue to grow and give more job opportunities and reach more demographics. Yeah. You want to shout out any of the uh, special, the vendors or the uh, people who are coming down working with you? Uh, you, you? If you got a few more minutes to have me over here, I'm going to have to go to a list of 70, but otherwise I will say I would want to shout out my team that is been pulling through this entire season. We don't have yeah. over a hundred fans. And you know what? Sometimes those guys in the background don't get enough feedback or enough like credit, you know? So yeah. I want to shout out the team that's been doing that day in, day out, building incredible events and, you know, working with the communities. Um, you know, that, that's, that's really who I, I would like to shout out. Excellent. What can our uh, viewers or people coming down to eat, what can they expect from this holiday season at the, at the night market? Oh, man, you know, listen, we got the largest selection of Caribbean food out there. You know, anything from, like, you can name any part of the Caribbean. Latin food, you know, we got everything from, like, you know, obviously, Beria tacos, but we're talking about pinchos. We're talking about empanadas, different ones. We got the regular one, the pastillas. We got the empanadas, the Colombian one made out of corn. Uh, we got German food, Italian food, anything, you know, more traditional kind of grubs, but also some of the new food porn element that you can see downtown and and, and, and in the west coast um it's just it's just a, a great party you know for your taste buds and we always say like our rule is like this come happy bring stretchy pants there you go and how many vendors do you have and how many if somebody wants to get involved and become a new vendor can they do so uh, I think for the season, being the season finale is not going to happen, but we always welcome new vendors and new businesses. We actually work in, and we can talk about it later on, we are working to create like an incubator for small businesses, people that have a mindset of like, hey, I have this thing that I want to do. We are creating something right now, working with the Fordham Road Bid to have this incubator to support those. Uh, if anybody wants to join our, our vendor family, they should go and check our website. It's masshospitalitygroup.com. They can apply over there. They'll, you know, we'll guide them through the process and and hopefully incorporate them into our next year event. You know, next year is going to be. We are already know that we are extending the seasons of all brands. 
and adding some new ones. You know, we're going to have Albany Night Market coming in, Long Island Night Market coming in. And, and, and you know, as long as the community loves what we do, we're going to keep growing and keep, yeah. keep giving they like. Yeah. What's the address on the locations that we're doing right now? What's me? What's sorry? Say it again. What is the address of the locations that we're doing right now? The one in the Bronx, the one in Harlem, one in Brooklyn. So this Thursday, uh, on this Thursday we have the season finale for the Uptown Night Market. That's on yeah. on 12th Avenue and 133rd Street. Got it. Uh, starting four p.m. on Thursday. Following Saturday, November 19th, that's the good old classic Bronx Night Market in Fordham Plaza. That's one Fordham Plaza right on 189 and 3rd Avenue starting at 1 p.m. Um, both of them are going to be fantastic. We're going all out. You know, I'm going to make sure that the crowd comes and have a good time. There's going to be some amazing food, amazing merchandise, fantastic performances. And everybody who come over here is going to be part of a raffle that we do just to say, like, hey, thank you for supporting us all year long. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So, uh, and you also have a stage there. You, you mentioned performances. Oh, yeah. Every, listen, we, we try to make sure that every location that we go, we have local performers combined with different elements. Sometimes it could be like, you know, dance, dancers. Sometimes it could be like a, like a full band. Sometimes it's a DJ. But we got to make sure that we do that. I don't want to give too much out, but we've created some fantastic plan for both season finales. And if you're not going to come, you're going to miss it. So I recommend you come and not watch it on social media afterwards and say, like, eh, I should have gone. You can't taste it if you're just watching, you know, from social media or from the website. You can't taste You have to be there. You have to feel it, taste it, see it, hear it. You'll believe it. Seeing yeah, is believing. Exactly. The whole vibe is concentrated around, like, you know, having – you know, when you see thousands of people enjoying, thousands of people smiling, yeah. thousands of people holding hands and just taking photos, you know you did something right, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Come on down, say hi to me, say hi to the team. It's like a huge San Gennaro feast. I'd like to say we better. Oh! <laughs> I left that out there for you to say. <laughs> You know, what, what makes us unique uh -huh. is the strong connection to the community that we are in. You know, we understand our food plays a great part, but how the cultural aspect of that and the small business aspect of that really kind of complete the entire fiction. So yeah. I feel like you know, the New York City knows what's up and he, he knows what we bring it and we bring a good product. All right. So uh, we can go onto the web to, to check everything out. Everything's right there. Everything's stated, the dates and times and all that stuff. What's the website? MassHospitalityGroup.com. That's M A S C Hospitality Group.com. Excellent. Hey, nice to see you, buddy. Hope to see you in person. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Looking forward to seeing you in one of the finales this next couple of weeks. We're, we're going to come hungry. We're going to bring a crew. We're going to come hungry, man. Hey, you're not scaring us. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Hey, we're going to take a quick break right here, but Bobby C, he's up next. He has the latest in the world of sports coming your way next. <laughs> 